Welcome to Tabletop Gaming Guild. Tabletop Gaming Guild is all about the experiences and memories that playing tabletop games with friends and families can create. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Fox Experiment. Fox Experiment is designed by Jeff Frazier and Elizabeth Hargrave and published by Panasaurus Games. It takes a closer look at the Russian experiments to domesticate foxes and in it you are going to be selectively breeding these foxes to foster more positive desirable traits such as a friendlier bark, a wagging tail, floppier ears, and, uh, and spotted coats. The first stage of the game is a drafting stage in which each player has to draft one male fox, one female fox, and a bonus that determines also turn order for the next draft. You can never take more than one element of the draft, such as you can never have more than one male fox or female fox, and the foxes you take are going to be your parents to determine which dice you get to roll for traits for your their offspring. The bonuses determine turn order, but also give you tokens that can be often used to try to upgrade your research. Then everybody would have a chance to spend those trait tokens to do upgrades. Usually in the first round you won't have enough trait tokens to do that, but it is entirely possible if you play smart. These upgrades can be used to give you more foxes each round, to open up more research goals, to unlock wild dice, and gain patrons for end game score. After that, players would simultaneously roll the dice they acquired from their parent foxes, and any wild dice they acquired from upgrades to determine the traits on their children. So you can combine dice as such to complete trait icons. So this would give you two of the ear traits. You would then put one mark on your pup for each full trait symbol you rolled on your dice. And of course, wilds can be applied to help any of the traits. Then everybody would record the total number of marks they put on their pup, and you'd compare whoever is the friendliest would get bonus points. Everybody else would get a token that they can use as a one time use wild. Going trait by trait, you would look at how many circles you filled. And that's how many trait tokens of that trait you would get. You would do that for all four traits. If you had multiple pups, you would only take the highest in each trait. Those pups also help you with study goals. So if you ha have the requirements to fulfill the next level in any study goal, such as in this case, having one ear trait and two bark traits, you could then put a fox on that study card to show you have scored those points for the end of the game. You would then get another chance to upgrade with the tokens you just acquired. Then you would go into the cleanup phase and all the parents would go out of the game and the pups would become available for the next draft round. Pups that go into the draft are worth a number of dice equal to the number of squares you filled in when checking off traits. So when you're doing really well and marking off a lot of squares, that means that's a really high value pup that goes into the draft for the next round. You would then draw more pups in order to make the number of pups for each gender available equal to the number of players plus one. And that is a round of the Fox Experiment. You would play for five rounds and then you would total up your final scores. Points come from the highest number unlocked on each study card. Patrons that give you point multipliers for fulfilling certain criteria from the upgrade track the various friendliest point bonus you've gotten, as well as anything left in your supply account for marginal points. And that's how you play the Fox Experiment. Now I would consider this a light game, though probably on the higher end of the spectrum for light games. So this wouldn't necessarily be a game that I would introduce to somebody who's never played any board games before, but this might be their next step. A similar way to Wingspan. It also plays in a very friendly manner because if a player is doing very well, that actually helps other players as well because their pups that score high means that if that goes into the draft for the next round with potentially a lot of dice for the next player who requires that to roll, which also gives it a nice ramp up effect because you're going to start off just rolling a couple dice, usually four to five, if you're very lucky, maybe six. And then later in the game, you're going to be rolling a whole pastel of dice 
and scoring really high points on each puck. So I really enjoyed this game, and I think it's great for a lot of players, especially those that are trying to get family members or friends more into games. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on other social media such as Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe.